allow an issue when it's time for a change. I'm going to say it again. I'm going to say it again. I don't know nothing going on in Nassau. Matter of fact, I think the only person I talk to in Nassau is this money. And I get on the phone talking to nobody. I don't know none of your business. I don't want you to know mine. Somebody say money. <laughs> now, I see my sisters when I go home. But something, there's an issue going on because it's time for separation. Why so quiet here? Do I need to leave that alone? That's a touchy subject. Sometimes God would put a John Mark, and John Mark could be a thing or a person. You feel me? God would inject a John Mark in the midst of a relationship because it's time for separation. And when you and when she and I can't agree on what we can do with John, she gotta go do what she gotta do, and I gotta go do what I have to do. God ain't mad with neither one of us. It's just that it's time for. See the wonderful thing about that? Can I talk to you on the slide? After that, he gave him Silas. Yes. So now Paul and Silas has a bigger ministry. I'm prophesying big time. I, I, I'm happy about what I'm doing myself. That doesn't normally happen. Sometimes, when you have to separate from, from Barnabas, it's because Silas is there. And Silas is a bigger work. You just can't see him. I know I'm in trouble up in here now. But y'all know me. Y'all know I'm supposed to be dope to be scared. <laughs> Let me let you. Shall not prevail against it, and I will give unto you the keys of the kingdom. 
I understand you. I love you. I know it's hard from where we come from to receive prophecy because we've been so traditional and so regimented. But sometimes when he got up to something big, and sometimes when when the king won't hear, God will raise up a servant to get the message out. I can't go real deep into that. I'll talk about that in private when we get time. But sometimes God will speak a word. Remember one time at New Birth, you told me that Bishop Curry came out and I was sitting there and he was just staring at me like he was focused on me. And I looked back and I said, God was saying to him then what his intention was for me. But sometimes through tradition, it has to be through trouble. My God, heavenly. Don't, 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 don't listen to me, Marty. Hear my heart now. God has not forgotten. A curveball is coming. <coughs> Nothing has gone wrong, Rudy Ann. You can't stop what God's ordained to do. And when the king won't hear, my God, help me out. But you have to flow when he made with the move of God. The Holy Ghost is saying, the curveball is coming. In, it, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. You can't stop it, I can't stop it. You can do all the counsel you want to, have all the meetings you want to, it's going to come. Because it's ordained. But now remember now, progress is always moving forward. Progress is never stuck. So when the, when, when the curveball is thrown, and when it hit and break the glass, you got to move I, I can't say no more about that right now. We're talking public and private. But you hold the key. Because whether or not, money, whether or not the ship sails, it's going to be based on whether you obey God. Jesus. Wow. That's what you carry. Amen. If you get ready to go home, you're blessed. Amen. amen. If you're blessed, amen. amen. If you're blessed, amen. amen. Clap your hands and give God praise, please. Where's the Denise? Did Denise leave? Denise, didn't you go to all the leaders? Amen. If you came to church more often, now you would have been on the list. Amen. <laughs> but the, <laughs> the, I believe Denise has been to all the leaders. Come as Atlanta. Uh, right? Miami and Nassau. Amen. So we bless God for us. So we'll give her a bag too. Amen. Amen. Let, let me pray for you. Grab your neighbor's hand and then we're going to dance a little bit then we'll be done. Amen. Now the food is outside. Yes. So we're going to have fellowship outside with food. Please fellowship with one another. And look for, let's look forward to tomorrow. General love for those of you who are. I saw somebody, Lord, told me. Um, the lady right there in the pink. You have to make a change. Amen. You have to make a change. You are dying. You have stuff inside you and you are dying. You have to make the change. I've never seen it before, right? Have I? Yes. I've seen it before? Yes. Hey, man, where are you from? <laughs> Who? Oh, that's the same lady. Didn't I cross that before? Yes, sir. Wow. Everybody just should have my glasses on. Do you mind if I take a minute? Listen to me, sweetheart. Your very life is on the line. No matter what they say about you, God has gifted you. Okay, you are much more than somebody's elder. You're much more. Oh, glory to God. Glory to God. I, I, know, I, know, I know it's hard. You have to make a change. You have to step. You have to. You, listen, this is vital for you. If you don't, you're going to get sick. Because you're holding too much in. <laughs> 